Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and as I'm making this video, there's an autumn storm blowing into Seattle and it's windy and so the power might go out halfway through my video. Let's find out what happens. But I'm so excited that it's finally cool enough to use my oven <laughs> to make things again. The summer was hot, we were basically just eating watermelon and hot dogs all summer. So I'm excited to look through some skillet cooking cookbooks. And Diana Henry is a great cookbook author, we love her cookbooks. I'm not sure what the subtitle is because the library always puts a sticker over some of the words. Dishes that look after themselves, I think it says. Well, let's check it out. I think this came out in 2019. It is from Mitchell Beasley as the publisher. Simple dishes that look after themselves. Let's check out the table of contents. First one is simple suppers. You have my name all over that. My favorite ingredient, chicken thighs forever. Okay. Asparagus to zucchini. Good, that's the vegetarian chapter. Beets and bitter greens. Cook until tender. Weekends and holidays and something sweet. Okay, introduction. I'll read it later when I'm not on camera. It's kind of a long one. Hmm. All right, first chapter, simple suppers. We're all here for simple right now, aren't we? Sausages, chops, fish fillets, and the like. And the first recipe of the book looks really gross to me, but I'm vegetarian. I bet it looks good to you. It is baked sausages, apples, and blackberries with mustard and maple syrup. The next one is something my boyfriend would love. Roast salmon and string beans with cornichons and mustard crumbs. The next one is toad in the hole with scallions and cheddar cheese. And here's a salsicce con potate e pomodori al forno. So it's sausage with potatoes and tomato pomodoro, and I'm not sure what al forno means. Okay, looking good. A lamb filet, salmon filets with miso, beautiful photography as you can see, uh, pork chops with beets and apples, cod with chorizo and tomatoes, a subsection of the chapter called at the table. Uh, ooh, this looks really good. Creamy gratin of Finn and Hattie? Tomatoes, potatoes? Is this a British cookbook? I don't know what Finn and Hattie is. Okay, and duck breasts, and pork belly strips, lamb chops. Let's get to the next chapter. Chicken, oh, I think this is the chicken chapter because all of a sudden everything went chicken. Yes, her favorite ingredient must be chicken. Chicken with feta cheese, dill, lemon, and harissa yogurt, so kind of Mediterranean style or Middle Eastern style. Chicken with miso, sweet potatoes, and scallions. Uh, chicken with plums, honey, and pomegranates. She likes to use a lot of fruit in her recipes, I'm noticing. That's really good, especially at harvest time like it is right now. Chicken with lemon, capers, and thyme. Okay, French style. There's a couple with no pictures. Here's chicken with torn sourdough, sherry, raisins, and bitter greens. Mm. This looks amazing. Chicken and cauliflower with Najua. Did I say that right? Naduja? Next chapter. Beautiful. Asparagus to zucchini, spring and summer vegetables. Oh, this is gorgeous. Cumin roasted string beans and tomatoes with tahini and cilantro. That is not foods I would have thought to put together, but it sounds good. This is not a good picture, but it's hard to photograph eggplant. Okay, good job. Whole eggplants with saffron, black cardamom, and date butter. Here's Greek zucchini, polenta, feta cheese, and dill pie, quote unquote. Yum, that looks delicious. Chili roasted tomatoes with feta cheese, yogurt, dill, mint, and pistachios. That would have been something great to make a couple weeks ago when it was super hot in Seattle and I couldn't cook. Roasted radishes with honey, mint, and preserved lemon. Hey, I had all the ingredients for this in my house last week. I wish I'd had this cookbook back then. Here's something with roasted carrots. Here's Moroccan roasted vegetables with labneh. Yum! I love how multicultural this cookbook is. Let's keep going. Roasted eggplant puree with soft goat cheese, smoked almonds, chili, and rosemary. So some of these need several ingredients, but it would be worth it. Here's something in a skillet that looks interesting. Smoked paprika baked zucchini, tomatoes, and string beans with eggs. Yum! Roasted asparagus with ricotta and pecorino cheese. Okay, not very inventive, but looks delicious. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, what's this? Roast peppers with burrata, and that word I can't say again, naduja? <laughs> I need to look that up. 
Now we're on an entire chapter of beets and bitter greens, autumn and winter vegetables. Yay, here comes autumn. Roasted autumn vegetables with walnut miso sauce. That's not something I would sit around going, I'm going to make a walnut miso sauce today. But if I was working my way through this cookbook, I would definitely make this. This is melting baked onions with Parmesan cheese and cream. I always have onions in the house. I never let myself run out. How about you? Roasted spiced eggplants, pumpkins, and tomatoes with coconut and green chutney. Baked potatoes with smoked trout. Here's a roasted cauliflower with pistachio and preserved lemon, relish, and tahini. That looks delicious. Roasted cabbage wedges with XO crumbs. What's XO? I'm not sure. I have to look it up. I'm going to be busy looking things up after this cookbook. Look through. Baked sweet potatoes with avocado and jimmy tree. That's not a combo I would have thought of. That's really interesting. Roasted sunchokes and scallions with creme fraiche and other things. Roasted Indian spiced vegetables with lime cilantro butter. Yum. Okay. I'm going to keep going. There's lots of roasted vegetables. Here's roasted squash and tofu with soy honey, chili, and ginger. Shall we move into the next chapter? Because, ooh, white beans and roasted tomatoes with caper, mint, and chili dressing. I can see I'm going to have to bring my mint indoors for the winter if I'm going to making these. If I'm going to make these recipes. Baked beans with smoked bacon, pork belly, and molasses. Did we hit a different chapter now? I believe we did. What chapter are we in? It does not say. What does it say? I'm not sure. Oh, well, let's just keep going. This is a rose al horno. Uh, chicken and rice with coconut green chilies. Chicken with wild mushrooms. Pumpkin rice and sage butter. This must be the autumn and winter dishes. Salmon roasted in butter with beet and horseradish puree. Stuffed Greek chicken with cayenne oregano and orzo. Ooh, how about this? Roast beef tenderloin with crimson leaves, buttermilk walnuts, and cashel blue cheese. I'm not sure what that is. I thought it said cashew. No. Okay. Here's a gig gigot of monkfish with roast lemon salsa verde. Is, is it gigot or gijo? Don't know. Melissa's butterfly leg of lamb with yogurt and herb sauce. Baked sea bass with Asian dressing. Multicultural again. Lamb shoulder with honey herbs and lemon caper relish. Let's move out of the meat and get into the next chapter. Ooh, lots of good things though. Something sweet. Here we go. This will be good. What can you make in a oven to table situation? Baked rice pudding with quince jelly and blackberries. I like making my own jelly. Ginger roasted plums with lime, rum, and brown sugar cream. That's a very healthy dessert. Apricot and almond croutés. Yum. Cassis and bay baked pears with blackberries. Baked nectarines with pistachios and rose water. And how about for the final one? Mm, no, we're done. Okay. From the oven to the table. Some of this was a little pretentious and too gourmet-y for me personally. What did you think? But there were several, several things I want to go back and check out and make. Makes it look easy and oven to the table is much easier than me messing up a whole bunch of pans, pots, and dishes. So I love it. That was From the Oven to the Table by Diana Henry. And if you'd like to see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews, you can find cookbookdivas.com, our blog. We have a podcast. We post to Facebook, Instagram, and especially our videos go on YouTube. Bye!